Greetings. Welcome back to End of Fate. Let us approach the mother of plagues. Make your choices. Okay. Queen of the Vermin. Under the ground, the filthy rat kind court her favor. Murder each other with leprous teeth for the honor of siring her children. Let's get rid of that, this, this, and maybe the Wise Fury. Check back here. Of course, we have some new things here as well. With your swing and Bow Cry. And that and that. If I leave out this, I have better chance for the greater shield. Banish your curses with caution while facing the queen. Okay. I don't usually do that. I guess there will be no problem. the true and final death of this table as I risked my life in ages past. Do I? Mm. My goodness, what was that? Okay, okay. As pleases you. Mm. Let's go here. Uh, okay, I guess. I will go back. A voyage across the ocean, familiar trip down the river. What's here? There's a token in it for you if you win. On a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels. But the infidels were strong. And one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all of the rare metal or they used to craft our weapons. The king's army never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me company. All of the others who survived the attack left long ago. Oh, well. Win this and claim my token. Your meet, your meet is arranged to happen by the cliffs outside Norwich. However, when you arrive, you are greeted only by the icy cold embrace of the sea breeze. Just as you're wondering if you've been swindled, a young street urchin comes rushing towards you. He hands you a note before disappearing down the cliff face with a speed and grace you would not dare match. The note is from Harbinder. Paranoia is always well founded. There is a kraken attacking the ships that are living in Norwich, and the local smugglers are keen that nobody hears the services are at risk. I'm sorry that we couldn't meet in person, but I do detest violence, especially when it may happen to me. By the time you stuff the mold into your pocket, you can already hear the approaching rubble. We don't let nobody sting their noses in where they don't belong. That includes you and the Eons, I have waited for an appropriate player. It seems there are more eons ahead. Yep. That includes you and that sneaky git that were here before. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this one's still alive. Not anymore. With your pursuers defeated, you plan to return to Carlo to give him the bad news regarding the Kraken. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. On a fine sunny day, you set out into the forest, hidden in a barrel on the waken of Tarin, the merchant. Your destination is the White Council's stronghold. After what seems like hours, a deep voice calls out, Hold! Tarin yields in surprise and the wagon stops. You hear Tarin greet someone. Ah, hello, my lord. I have your usual shipment here. Nothing interesting to say about it. Cringe in your barrel. Is that so? The other voice remarks, casually before falling silent for some time. Then, here is your payment. And you hear the click of gold coins. Suddenly, there is a blinding white light. When your vision clears, you dare to look out from your place of concealment. You see that you... Oh, sorry. You see that you and all the stock from Tarin's wagon are now sitting in the middle of a stone hall, inside a circle of moons and symbols. A tree of poorly dressed goblins set to work, sorting everything into a storage room to one side under the supervision of, the, of a bored looking mage. A choice. Select your desire. A goblin suddenly drops a barrel of apples, sending them rolling across the hall. You help yourself for some supplies while the mage buries the poor creature before sneaking out a side door. Thank you. I'm sure you are grateful for that. You soon discover that the tower is a sprawling maze of passages and chambers. Many more than could actually fit inside the structure you saw from a distance. You are inexplicably drawn to a bare stone chamber with an opening to the sky above. You watch as a magician summons an enormous scaled creature into existence. Its form seems mainly to be composed of vicious looking claws, gnashing teeth, uh, teeth and writing tentacles. You feel dizzy just watching it. It lunges, biting and slashing at the wizard, at the wizard but backs away when he raises an ornately decorated skull. The wizard addresses the creature, you will go to the city of Kadere and kill the duke. The creature's unblinking eyes gaze in every direction at once, and its sinister voice resonates from a dozen mouths. How has he wronged you? It hisses. Or, time if you like. I've waited long enough. Or is it more wisdom from the Benevolent Council? He foolishly questions my will, as do you, the wizard responds, holding the skull high. Go, I command you. The beast retreats once more, rasping. Beware, Zahagan. The bones of my true master will not protect you forever. One day, you will slip and drop them, and then I shall have you in my claws. Your threats are whole, demon, and serve only to delay your departure. The mage stops abruptly. What are you up to? He mutters. He quickly looks around the room in alarm. His gaze comes to rest directly on you, watching from the shadows. You send your weapon flying across the room. Crashing into the skull and knocking it to the floor, the mage looks from the fallen skull, skull to you and then to the beast. His mouth opens, but before he can utter a word, a dozen tentacles descend upon him. A loud bell begins ringing throughout the halls. More robed figures appear from glowing portals to aid the leader. You flee the room as the sounds of fire, magic and teeth to battle. 
Under the cover of the chaos you have sown, you managed to look a magical artifact of some kind from an unoccupied laboratory before being spotted. There's an intruder in the lab, a magician calls from the doorway. No time for that now, someone else yells. Just expel it before it damages something important. One of the magicians casts a spell and you find yourself standing in the forest. That were just visible in the far distance. What about that magic item? Okay, I'm fine with that. Sail away and see what you will find. Soon the game will end. I will take your piece from the board. It will be done. Unlike other opponents, I will remember you fondly. Thank you. You'll find yourself in a seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventures to a group of drunks. A drunk soldier calls out, With you, I want five gold that you cannot get and are in flight. I'll try. The soldier lets an arrow fly from across the room to the delighted truth of the crowd, you catch it. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. <laughs> oh you again. We play for a token now. Okay. Yes. Okay, one more. Mm, that's it. Oh dear. I will get it eventually. Maybe doing some streaming. Ugh. I prefer not to play a chance. I only contend with the most serious of games. In an old tavern at the edge of a dark forest, you meet a gambler. Care to try your luck at the cards? He asks with a wicked gleam in his eye. Okay. He grins diabolically as you sit down, making you uneasy. The stakes are this. If you win, I'll give you something from my collection of magical items. If I win, then I'll curse you instead. That's all fully fair. Choose from these options. Damn it. Can I choose? Okay. Another curse on the table. Let us yeah. see how you deal with it. And poor, but I will visit you to see you worse. Nothing new. Mm. Yeah. Don't you find it interesting to consider that you're sitting at my table to play our game? Recalling sitting at a table playing another game. Circles and cycles of without end. Okay, I'll take class must then Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. What brings you to play the game? I don't know. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, uh... you are silent. Give me a second. I think I've... Put some rings in deck. Well, not one hundred percent sure. Yeah, thunder's ring and our cutter. Mm -hmm. Do 
all blood. Thankfully, it has no blessings. Okay. It's the last card, so I'm just afraid to decline. things become okay okay I'll try it again you liar okay this is what you mean that I would win sometimes form follows function and vice versa in this case it's called a huge hammer you take a guess more and more portals are, are opening up across the land and helpies are appearing with greater frequency. These portals seem to appear more often around the Greenboro forests. Yes, I'll search the forest. During your search you discover some bags lost or left behind by traders and travelers. Thank you! More food? Eh. Your investigation also uncovers what may be a treasure or powerful artifact, but it is concealed behind thick strangling vines. We'll try chopping. You swing your weapon down, attacking the vines with gusto. Your weapons cleave through the vines to reveal an ancient stone artifact. At your touch, it rumbles to life and a familiar voice from the underworld booms out. You have found a totem of the underworld, by chance, I'm sure. Foolish mage has built those long ago to hold us back. But that came with a price. Now, as our might continues to grow, none of your kind is strong enough to stop us. Your world fills with my minions and I will twist your fate to a cruel demise. The totem fires are being up into the sky. It is met by the form of far off location. Okay. Again, a token is at stake. Great news, Mr. Lionel declares excitedly, bursting from the back of a wagon as it passes you. Long go for the I think we've done that, yeah. Uh, let's go for the revolt. This is the one I was supposed to find the crown in. But I chickened. Wait, what? What did I get hit by? Oh. Really? 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 I hate you. What the? Okay. Real life. Barely, but real life. Outside you meet up with Mr. Lionel again. Did you get it? He asks excitedly. Quickly, you must have it! You hold out the goblin crown, an ugly wooden thing, embedded with large gems for his inspection. The crown. I take it home! At last! Just as he reaches out to take the crown, a trio of goblins appear from the treasure vault, one of them saying, I'm telling you, there was a human down here! The goblin stop dead and stare at you. Look! One of them screams. He's taking the king's crown! You turn back to discover that Mr. Randall is not to be seen. Stop, thief! One of the goblin guards yells as another goblin blows on his horn and a magic portal appears. More goblins begin to arrive, all yelling and pointing in your direction. Get him! yells one. Seize him! yells another. You're the king of the king's favorite. You seize him! You decide to leave before the increasing number of goblin guards bolsters their courage enough to compose them into action. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you you wish you'd left untouched. You eventually find the second underworld totem. The totem is covered in markings, including spaces for three rings. 
God damn it! Really? The, the underworld one requires so much stuff! If only I went back to the ground floor, I, how could I have known? And either way, there are only two rings. The benefits just keep stacking up when you possess this ring. And I hope I won't start. Short, I know! This does not bode well. I should have brought some food alongside. Would you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. One night... My powers oh. are genuine. One night, you are captured by lizardmen and brought before the king. You are stripped of your equipment and must choose an opponent to fight in their underground arena. I'd rather fight Caesar's skulls. Okay, I see only one trap so far. Ella, uh, oh, you took my hammer! Sorry, still? I would rather have no. I would rather have fighting with. Oh, run! Try to kick them in the fire. Die already. No, hey, does not one. Alright. The last man standing. I was surprised to see the indication above his head. The lizard king returns and grants you a reward before returning your equipment. Thank you! On your way back to the surface, you see pans of other human captives waiting to fight in the arena. Back on the surface, you are released, but hesitate as the pitiful sound of, of screams for help rises from the tunnels. Of course, I will go back and try to help them. Yeah. And realize that was a mistake. You sneak back into the tunnels, but find yourself captured again and sent back into the arena. That is what it means Ooh. to be king. To return even after defeat. That hurts. No! Yes, hurt your own man. All right. No. No, really. Okay, one's done. Okay, you stay there.
No, I'm not gonna make it. I'd rather fight the unstoppable lizard man. Run! Am I gonna make it? Okay, it hurts him as well. Which is strange. No! Please die already! What? You don't change your direction. Oh, I hate you. Sorry, really, that's all, that was all that was needed. This time, after you are escorted to the surface and released, the lizardman sealed the entrance from the inside with a massive rock, cutting off the cries of the rat trapped within. Oh, good. More rats? More swarms. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, at least we've... Yeah, I think some more food. <laughs> Yes, we tried tracking him in town, but it was easy. Like I said. Yes, the villagers track and mud. It'll be a bit harder here. A choice. Select your desire. But still we can track him in mud. Oh god damn it! Two encounters lost, so we've got the Minotaur. The smell hits you like a hammer blow, twisting your stomach into knots. You follow the tracks to a lair of a den of some kind. This is where it feeds, blood stains, but the broken ground where it mangles its prey. You wait in the shadows where you both hope for and dread its return. Perhaps the beast never returns to its feeding site, or maybe it knows that you're watching. Either way, your stakeout is uneventful and ultimately fruitless. I can hear her summoning her children. This fight will be bloody. Is that her there are so many ways to hang on to just one more moment of life. But at what a price? In the ruins of an old temple, you feel the presence of something evil and unnatural. You have discovered the lich, a powerful undead monster. Which all, of course, attack! Because why not? Okay. No, I don't want to get close to you. And you're gonna run away. Oh, come here. Wait, what was I hit by? I think this. Yep.
Okay. Really? Okay, all I have to do is deflect her, so... Here you are! I can hit you! That was kinda creepy. You search for the remains for loot. If you gain health, then I work harder to take it. Please don't. It's already hard as really Sparse, now you show up. Relatively empty. Mostly we skip over these moments in our memory. Yet something has caught you here. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay, I'll try. You don't have any any other choice. This one? No. The black deck mm. delivers again. This one? Yeah. Quick flash of gold, and the bandits will forget themselves. A combat even I have waited to see. Majestic. Oh, well. Ew, what the hell is that? Does every queen have the a totem? What? No! Oh my goodness, what the... What the hell? What? Uh, I think uh, Queen is a bit broken. Let me clear my way. No, I definitely did deflect that. Okay. Whoa. No, we only have to kill this thing. Thank you. That was way too close for my liking. The rat kind will not easily recover from this loss. I hope so. A million half orphaned rats will fall upon you like a tide of horror. I don't care. Why do you still play? Why can't you walk away? You have earned your prize today. But I won't earn every token you have. Okay, you're broken. I've only begun oh. to challenge you. Yeah, yeah. I just broke. But well, thank you very much. Bye bye.